Greetings, and welcome to the Open-Minded Skeptic Podcast. My name is Sharon Ann Rowland, and I'm your host. Today we'll be covering a recent encounter I had with a mantis being. I hope you enjoy it. My first encounter with a mantis extraterrestrial being. Let's start with the definition of a mantis. Um, Apparently they originated 28 million light years from Earth in the Sombrero Galaxy. They are insectoid beings that stand upright and are said to be extremely tall, between 8 and 9 feet. And this is what happened. At the end of January 2015, I organized a friendly get-together for a few of my closest C5 skywatching friends based at Mount Sampson. We had a great afternoon picnic and meet up followed by a very, very active sky watching evening. We even had some earth elemental spotting in the nearby bush area and captured some interesting vector anomalies on film. We had as usual a great night. They they really turn out to be more social these days than actual um, going to actually see see about the contact which um, I love the way they've developed into that. The next day when I woke up I found myself in my usual post C5 zone. I've always explained this zone to people as floating externally a foot above my body almost uh, in a trance. I'm emotionally calm, content and uh, try to avoid interacting with people during this time as it is the closest I can imagine to being pure energy. The feeling is gone by the end of the day, but I do my best to enjoy it while it is with me. So, it's Sunday morning around 11am and I remembered that I had uh, a family and two, sadly, responsibility. And I had previously agreed to pick up my youngest daughter from a sleepover that morning. I endeavoured to maintain my calm and simply grabbed my keys and handbag and headed for the door and five minutes from home, I realized that I needed to get petrol. Again, not wanting to break my bubble, I just smiled and pulled into the next service station, one located in Kenmore, and started to fill up my car. A few moments later, a loud and flash looking black motorcycle with a leather clad rider pulled in behind my car at the pumps. I remember thinking at this moment what incredibly skinny arms and legs the rider had. Nonplussed, I turned my attention back to my own car and began to pump the petrol. I felt drawn to look back at the motorcycle rider who had now dismounted and again I pondered at the small diameter of his appendages. It it just didn't compute. I continued to watch the rider dismount and then remove and place his helmet onto the seat of the motorcycle. And then the words ran through my head, definitely not human. I continued to stare at the almost Voldemort looking creature scanning the various types of petrol available. His upside down pear shaped head, the very pale green grey skin, the slit like mouth, eyes and invisible nose all added to my belief that this was a creature from the stars. The service station was brimming with people and they walked past us both, no one reacting to the odd looking being at all. Personally I wasn't afraid, I was just confused. I couldn't quite work out what race of extraterrestrial being I was staring at. It was my first time with a mantis. He did seem to be a a bit of a mix though, a bit of a mix of mantis and of of a uh, grey I'd say, a tall grey. My thoughts must have captured his attention as he turned suddenly and stared right at me. I smiled widely, bubble style. In hindsight, I may have looked a little cray cray at this moment and thought to him the word hello. His face looked a little stunned and he then asked me telepathically, or he rather stated, you can see me. 
I smiled again and nodded and added the thought, of course, but don't worry, I've seen lots of you guys over the years. Um, I don't think he was quite prepared to meet an evolved human being at a suburban service station because it was at this point, I'm, I'm pretty sure he, he looked really miffed. And the next thing I remember was being back in my car and a good 30 meters down the road from the service station. I had a receipt on my passenger seat stating that I had paid and my car said the tank was full, but I had no recollection of removing the petrol hose from my car, putting the cap back on, walking into the shop and paying for my petrol at all. And in fact, I was also going the wrong way home. So I'd basically just pulled out onto the road and not done the, my usual U-turn. In short, I'd been mind whammied. To be honest, I think it was a bit unfair. I wasn't violent or objectionable. I was just friendly, I thought. But then, why should I expect other species to be different from humanity and our varied behaviors? Not every human is friendly and perhaps my own behavior unsettled him too much. If that was the case, I imagine he's not had a lot of friendly encounters. Well, that's all for our podcast. Thanks for listening. And remember, if you want to support what we do, then share, subscribe, and leave a positive review over on iTunes for the open-minded skeptic. My team and I look forward to entertaining you once again in our next podcast. To check when our next podcast is, simply head over to www.tomspod.com Com. That's www.tomspod.com.